Good morning, neighbors. Bill here. I've had some really fancy equipment. I've also had some really cheap equipment. But some of the best equipment that I've had is the equipment that I've made myself. This is really nice. This is my frackable curl bar. It's stainless steel shaft. This is what I started with. It's like 25 bucks or something. It's like a tenth of the price of that. It's not stainless steel. It's probably fake chrome. I don't even know the brand. It's probably cap. But it's not rackable. But I have a rack. What are you to do? What I did is I made myself this little sidekick stand. So I figured out where I wanted to have the curl bar at. I cut my piece of wood that length. Then, then I made myself a little notch up top, fancy a circle. You could do flat, just raise the edges. And then at the bottom, notch myself some boards, put that in there, put some through, uh, through dowel rods. Works pretty well. You know, before I had the really nice rack over there, I'm in front of my cheap old rack, I wanted to do landmines. I didn't really want to attach it to this. I was kind of concerned about the structural stability of that as it is. So I really just got me a big board. What is this, like a two by six or something? Drill some hose in it, put it here. Put some 45 plates on either end. And I've got a landmine. Nowadays, I do have a very nice landmine attachment, but what about the other end that you actually put weights on? So I made myself a little stand right here. You can see it just holds the other end of the barbell and we can put weights on it. Pretty easy construction. I did reinforce this baby though. You can see right here, there's a through tenon and that notches out of the side. If you can't make that kind of uh, connection though, you could definitely get some of those still brackets and connect it at an L right there. And then down at the bottom, I notched that out, put some through dowels. If that's past your skill level though, you could probably just set it on the board and securely attach it with some metal fasteners. But yeah, I made this baby reinforced pretty solid. Only thing is I might've changed the angle, made this come up, made that a little bit longer, but it works pretty well enough. Now right over here is my dumbbell rack. This thing I thought about way too long. I mean, I seriously debated about how I should make this, everything that I should do, what should be the size. I mean, like I just drove myself crazy until I was like, hey, I'm just gonna build something and see how it goes. So here's what I did. How high should this thing be? I'll tell you how high mine should be. See that plug, see that light switch? There, that's the height right there cap it right there bottom put a shelf in the middle check it out i've got these right here these are recessed back each one's at an angle so it's easy to pick this up this shelf is also between the top shelf is pushed back the bottom shelf is pulled forward middle shelf's kind of in the middle so check it out you can just reach in right here i don't hit my arm at all just pull that right out this thing's worked out pretty nice for me Really, the only thing I'm thinking about doing is making it bigger. But you can see over here, I've got that plate storage. I've got those, those pieces of equipment right there. So I don't know, but it's been working out great. Now, see this really cheap old barbell right here? I'm saving that one for the kids. And then we got my old curl bar. Now see, see here at the bottom, I made this. So I got me a piece of wood, kind of made like a box, drilled me some holes in it that match that diameter so I could set that in there. Then you can see I've got it set up at the bottom. At the bottom, we've got side support, side supports and, and through the middle. And then I put legs on it out here and put some, some of these hex dumbbells that I don't use right there. And that way right there, that gives some counterbalance so it's up against the wall and weighted right here. It works pretty well. I don't really want to store any of my fancy barbells, expensive barbells that way. But for these things right here, works awesome. Nowadays, I'm using these things right here from, I think it was Starco Lifting. These things are awesome. You might not have the same needs. Your skill level might be different. Your interest level might be different. But I hope some of this inspired you to make your own do-it-yourself project because it's really nice. Like when I use this and I still use this whenever I do landmines, it's really nice to use this and know that, hey, I made this. I mean, how cool is that? It's funner that way. Until next time, have a good rest of the day and maybe some of these other videos might help you out. Later.